Hi, I'm Brandon Ashglantz. And I'm Gabby Hartfield. And you're watching The State of It. Early on Monday morning, a broken train line disrupted the Oxford Road station to Warrington Station Link. The broken railway resulted in a half-hour delay and further disruptions to Northern and East Midlands services. By roughly 9am, however, the line was up and running again, but the service was met with a spate of criticism nonetheless. Some have argued that disruptions on such a scale are all too frequent and that such disruptions on such a level cannot afford to be happening. On Saturday, a delivery delivery man was attacked and mugged during a delivery to Cicero Street in Moston. The delivery driver was approached by a gang of what appeared to be teens and had his phone and other belongings stolen in a heist. Although the man attempted to chase after the thugs, he decided against it after they ran down a back alley to escape him. Although the man returned to the address and the customer gave him a phone to contact police, he said he was shaken up by the ordeal, all of which was captured on his head cam. This comes as Greater Manchester Police have said they are overstretched, even asking the public not to hoax call after a hoax serious stabbing was reported to the police, before police concluded that it was a fake. A number of Remembrance Sunday events took place in and around Greater Manchester to mark 100 years since the end of World War I and the sacrifices made to do so, of which almost 24,000 brave soldiers from Greater Manchester gave their life. An annual walk through the city centre took place and culminated in a two-minute silence at 11am, which marked 100 years since the signing of the treaty which ended the battle on the Western Front of the war at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. A march past the Central Library was also met by the Lord Lieutenant, the Lord Mayor of Manchester and senior representatives from the Army, the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy before the firing of a gun from the Town Hall tributed those who died in sacrifice. That was your weekly roundup of local news. Now to Gabby Hartfield. Ministers have been told that Judgment Day is coming for Brexit over the next 48 hours. Officials are aiming to have an exit deal by Wednesday, with the hope that EU leaders will agree to it by the end of the month. Marc Francois compared Theresa May's handling of the Brexit negotiations with the fall of Singapore to the Japanese in World War II, explaining that it has been one tactical defeat after another. The uncertainty has been reflected on the financial markets, with the pound falling 1% against the dollar. Moving on to your more international news of the week, the death toll in wildfires sweeping across California has risen to 31, with over 200 people still missing. The California governor, Jerry Brown, has urged Donald Trump to declare a major disaster, aiming to harness more federal emergency funds. In response, Trump threatened to actually cut funding, blaming the fires on poor fire management. The comment has seen a lot of backlash on social media, and specifically by the president of the International Associations of Firefighters, calling Trump's comments reckless and insulting. That's been the state of it. Thanks for watching.